Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a first impressions video for you on this knife. Now this is not a brand new knife, but it is new to me. And I want to share this because there's actually not that many videos, there's not that much content about this particular knife out there on YouTube. So, uh, this knife was sent to me, uh, it made a stop over at Dr. Frankie's channel before, so you may know what knife this is already if you are a regular viewer or a subscriber to his channel. And if you're not, you should probably check it out. There's the knife there. This is a knife from Riot, and it is the Epoch or Epoch. Uh, comes in a pretty standard uh, Riot knives pouch with a microfiber cloth, and there is hardware in here. Let's see if I can kind of halfway pull it out. So there you go. There's some hardware there. Uh, so. That's the, the typical Riot pouch that we're used to seeing. Uh, I'm not used to seeing this bag, so that is kind of a nice touch, especially if uh, you don't always store your knives in those pouches, and I don't. So that's pretty helpful, actually. So let's take a quick look at the knife. I'll talk about the features very briefly, then I'll give you a size and weight, and my initial impressions. So as you can see, uh, the Epoch, like a number of Riot knives, is available in a few different variations, and this is the full blacked out variation. Very, very nice nice black DLC coating on that CTS 204P blade. Really, really nicely done. We flip over to this side so you can see 326 of 400. That's what I was trying to show you there was the serial number. And again, I love the way that even though this is a black DLC, look how it shines. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so, uh, black DLC on the titanium frame as well. Uh, backspacer construction, you can see the, the lanyard hole there integrated. Uh, 3D machine titanium pocket clip with the ceramic ball borrowed from uh, Todd Bag. And I've got, I really, really like this feature on knives. It feels like I'm just drawn to that. I want to say, if I do a quick count here, there's this one, there's the Torrent, there's the Bodega, the... Uh, Swish, the um, TIE Fighter. So there's at I have at least five knives now with this ceramic ball, and I really, really like it. Uh, let's see, do I have any others here? The only one I have with me, I thought I had the Torrent here as well, but I must not. The only one I have here with me is the Swish, but that's the, the ball I'm talking about, and I really do seem to be drawn to knives that have that particular feature. Uh, anyway, so that's a win. I really, really like that. If you look inside here, thinking of features of the knife, it's fairly heavily milled out to save on the weight, and it's done a pretty good job. I mean, this is still... I'm, I'm feeling it in hand now. It's not super lightweight. I guess we'll get a weight here. I've got the scale so we can get a weight here in a minute. Uh, before we do that, it is a flipper. You can see, you probably already saw the lock bar insert there that also serves as an over travel stop. And let's see, I'll show you the, the way the stop pin on this guy works is it's moving in that track in the handle. So you can see it's an internal stop pin. And you can also on this knife see the caged bearings there. So you can see the blue that's uh, dual row. I'm pretty sure, 95% sure those are dual row ceramic bearings. I will confirm that before I get to the full review. So those are the features and those are all features that I do really like. Uh, I've got to say the action on this feels pretty nice. Okay. <clears throat> uh, which is about par for the course from Riot Knives. So let me give you a quick measurement. Sorry, this is so that I can see. I know you guys probably can't see that that well right now. So that's landing at about, let me make sure I'm getting, that's landing at about eight and three eighths. It might be just a little under eight and three eighths there. Blade length on this guy. Now, how am I gonna get that without getting the ruler to fall into that little groove? Uh, so blade length is just under three and three quarters. You know, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say three and eleven sixteenths, but it's close, okay? So about three and three quarters, just a little under that. Nice long blade for a fairly compact knife. This is not a big knife, and so to get three and three quarter inches of blade is very appreciated. And, hmm, about four and eleven sixteenths there. Not quite, it's a little... Uh, a little more clearly not reaching three quarters there. So four and 11 sixteenths on the blade, three and three quarters, or I mean, <laughs> let's reverse that. Four and 11 sixteenths on the handle, three and three quarters on the blade. Uh, that's the kind of size you're working with here. And let me grab you a weight. 
Is it in ounces? Yeah. Okay, so 5.28, so 5.3 ounces. Which is, you know, quite comfortable to carry as far as I'm concerned. I have no issue with that at all. Now, what is my initial impression of this knife? Uh, I feel like this is a really, really well done high-end EDC, okay? It's probably a little more, this is a knife I would be a little more careful with than let's say the exact same knife, only no DLC coating. Um, the DLC is gonna make it just that little bit more fragile because of the, the possibility of scratching up that blade. The DLC does tend to show wear a little easier than other finishes. So that's about the only uh, drawback that would move it more into the sort of gentleman's or light use category. Uh, it is a well-made knife. It's fairly heavy duty. It's not that it wouldn't take some pretty hefty use, but you just wouldn't be able to keep it in this condition if you did that. And if you don't mind that at all, then, then you can go, go nuts and use it however you see fit. This will be a knife that I take pretty good care of and I'm a little bit easier on. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that first impressions. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe so that you don't miss. I guess you wouldn't have to like it and not miss, but just like it out of kindness. <laughs> subscribe so that you don't miss the full review. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.